Just want to thank my uh, nephew Josh Goodenkoff for getting up at old dark 30 and driving over to my place and then uh, driving with me all the way out to Phoenix and driving the truck back. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate you, man. Got to get it for the blog. Okay, taking the 76 home. We're up in Phoenix, it's gonna be hot. So we gotta get a move on. All right, so we're doing good. She's holding temp around 200, oil pressure's good. Um, the tank and the speedometer don't work, so I'm just going by feeling how fast I'm going. Uh, she's a four speed. So uh, I got a good feeling now just from the short distance on the freeway we did and uh, where those gears are and uh, what needs to be done. She's got a little bit of shimmy going on, but sometimes it's just as concrete. Uh, and uh, we're good. We're about to jump onto I-10. And probably given the fact that I don't know how fast I'm going, I'm going to keep her around 75, which is unusual for me. I usually don't stay the speed limit. Uh, don't tell my wife I said that. Uh, but for this time, we're going to stick real close to the speed limit, and uh, I'll pick you up somewhere on I-10. One of the most iconic views is the bumps in the Corvette that you're looking at. You can see the hood cow, two bumps on the fender. This is a great view. So far, temps are doing really good. Around 200, We've got our aftermarket, a little bit of radiator, triple four, so that's doing real good. Driving like an old man with my signal light on the whole time. Um, two cages, a little bump, you can see it flopping back and forth. Don't think the clock's working, I should take it back. Uh, oil pressure's looking good. Uh, battery, that's going to need some work. That's not doing so great. Later on. We're cruising around about 75, 80 right now. Uh, temperatures are going down outside a little bit. But I'm really hoping it doesn't rain because if it rains, I have no wipers. We'll have to pull over and wait till it stops. All right, more later. Okay, so you can see she made it home. Mechanically, the car sound. Unbelievably sound. Throw it all the way down. Temperature stayed around 200. Um, nothing to complain about. Rides really nice. There are a lot of things that don't work. Electrical. Um, and I'll do a walk around in a little while. Right now I'm cleaning out some of the junk that the previous owner had in there. And we'll look at some of the issues the car's got. Um, and we'll do a complete walk around. Engine is tight. It's got a cam in it. He doesn't know what what uh, level of cam is, but I'm gonna say it's mild, maybe a little better than mild. Um, so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I don't know how to test for that, so I'm gonna jump on the forum here and ask the guys in a little bit. Uh, uh, Arizona Corvette enthusiasts, they usually got guys that know a lot of this stuff. And they got a whole C3 section, so we'll get into that a little bit later. Um, you can see from here it needs paint. Uh, we'll talk about that some more, but right now I just wanna get her uh, uncovered and cleaned out and all the junk out of there for uh, uh, and get it cleaned up a little bit because uh, it's been sitting for a while um, but it just runs fantastic um, I didn't push it too hard today because um, not knowing not knowing that it's already super great the guy said it was and uh, I now believe him so you got to drive him first so uh, frame is in good shape. I went and looked at the frame already. We'll look at that later on. Uh, there's some rust in the in the floor on the passenger side because the T-tops leak and, and no one and I don't think they took good care of it. And uh, the window's a little out of a line. So, but when it's here and I'm not driving it, it's going to be under waterproof uh, cover. So we don't have to worry about that much. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Uh, this is uh, '76 Stingray. Um, these are the cars I grew up with. Um, this is the car I fell in love with when it comes to Corvettes, and I have yet to have one. I had my C4, uh, 84, uh, and I had my C6, and my two Mustangs. But this, if I'm going to talk about the ultimate car, this would be generally that ultimate car that I wanted since I was a little kid. 
um, yeah, I'm just uh, I'm just uh, pretty uh, pretty happy. Um, and yeah, I had to sell the Mustang the '73 SR '73, uh, but um, we'll look at the heads and everything later on. Um, the engine's solid; uh, it's burning a little oil, um, so eventually it's probably going to have that uh, valve guides and stuff done. Um, but uh, right now, it's it ran great. Um,